Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Genshin Impact and it's update 5.1. I'm going to continue with the Archon quest and the event. Is this really necessary? Stabilize!
one trick pony, you know. Right now, emerge. I got him cornered. Right here. Emerge. Target acquired. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward.
this is the spot. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him. Or perhaps trying to extract information. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me, given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kenich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kinda weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids. Living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time, and since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Paimon doesn't see anything. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Uh, here, give me your hand. How about now? What do you see? Whoa, Paimon can see it now too! That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for Phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. Over here! Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something. Uh, what was that? Oh, Paimon was just complimenting you. Really? What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. But given the looks on their faces just now, or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Uh, don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Was that... Seat Lolly's voice? Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. Oh? They appear to be feeling quite confident. <laughs> Looks like our work will go smoothly. Hey, 
Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there. Let's go take a look. Ah, oh, that little brat, I swear. I just hope he hasn't gotten himself into any real trouble. Hmm. Yep. Judging by Paimon's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. Uh, wait. The phlogist in here is a bit odd. Let me see. <sighs> Paimon sees a small shape here. Could it be... some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Oh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Uh, but... What if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Uh, no. I've got to be careful. Otherwise he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Weird, they're not telling her that they can read her mind. Sure. Are you running away? traces of people staying here, too! Oh, uh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is... jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, Electro, and some other elements as well. Kanich told us that you were super amazing! No wonder you can sense so many more things than us! Huh. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. There are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Auroron wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatui? Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. I'll take this direction, and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. <sighs> Roron! What the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. <sighs> you little brat. And off she goes! Traveler, did you hear all of that as well? Once Seat Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So you were thinking the same thing. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell, and it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her.
you find something? Huh. So we can't tell where Aurora might have gone from here. That's weird. The phlogiston trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those fatui with him. So, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. Ron? I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. I guess it's Aurora. I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. <sighs> Hello, Traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see, so even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie, like a false omen in the lingering smoke. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. Greetings, traveler from afar. Be careful with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to her. It was I who tasked Auroron with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please, help me keep this a secret. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See, Lolly! She froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. If 
you're feeling sick, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to, uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. <sighs> need to be more careful next time. Feeling better yet, traveler? Alright, let's get ready. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away! Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. Alright, I'm gonna take a break. <laughs> Alright, so that is Genshin Impact. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks, bye-bye.